Okay, we now have a keyboard and mouse hooked up to the Macintosh Classic. And we're using the Apple Keyboard 2 down here. And we're also using the Apple ADB mouse. So the Macintosh Classic, of course, not supporting soft power, has to be turned on from the back. Notice it has the original startup chime that the original um, 68000 based Macs did. Okay, well the Macintosh Classic is now up and running, so we'll have a look at the system software. This is running System 7, 7.0.1, with 4 megabytes of memory. And unfortunately, 4 megabytes is all that a Macintosh Classic can take. Um, it's odd that there were a couple of 68,000 based machines, um, the Macintosh Portable is one, that actually could address more than 4 megabytes of memory, but from what I know, all of the other models um, could only take up to 4 megabytes, which is a bit of a shame, um, but yeah, it's just how it was. So what do we have? Let's look at the control panels. So we've got the brightness control panel here for the screen brightness, so we can turn it up a bit. I'll just adjust the, uh, the camera there to give us a slightly better image. There we go. Good. Not much else to really talk about here. Um, system 7, of course, being the first version of the system software to have in individual control panels. Let's test the sound out. So you can tell that the volume is actually quite good mainly due to the, uh, the cutout in the side of the case for the speaker. So that's about all we have for System 7, not much to really talk about here, but there is one feature of the Mac Classic which, I would, which is, well, unique to this model in fact. The Macintosh Classic is in fact the only model of Macintosh that I know of that has an entire copy of its system software stored in its ROM. Now, there's some discussion on why that was the case. Um, I think, uh, personally, I think that it was included in the ROM for development and testing purposes, but then was never removed from the ROM when the machine was actually, was actually released. But what this means is that you can boot up a Macintosh Classic without a hard disk or a floppy disk. And the way you do that is you have to hold down the command option X O keys all at the same time during startup and that will boot a copy of system 6 from the machine's internal ROM so why don't we give that a try so I'm going to restart it now and I'll hold down those keys on startup I'm holding those keys down now and it's now booting off its internal ROM which is also why it's so fast. There we go. So we're now running the Mac Classic on System 6 started from its own ROM. So you can see as well the icon for boot disk is an icon of a disk with a chip over the top. So you can see it's a base install of system, well let's have a look what version, system 6.03 for the Macintosh Classic and you can see that all we really have is the 
control panel, the System 6 control panel, but with the brightness um, CDEV as it's called, and startup device CDEV as well. That's about all we have there. Hmm, and cache is quite high. I'll turn that down a bit. But it also comes with Apple Share and the Chooser. So it's actually very useful if you want to be able to boot the Macintosh Classic up and access an Apple Share or Apple Talk network, you can do so. So that is, um, that's the built-in System 6 um, OS built into ROM, so very useful feature. I've restarted the Macintosh Classic now back into System 7 so that we can test an old Macintosh game that I came across called Prince of Persia by Rotobund Software. Now I have heard of this game but I've never actually played it so we'll see how we go. I've copied it onto the uh, hard disk. You can actually run this from the floppy in fact um, as long as you're running the black and white version. Notice that it actually has a label for application in black and white graphics. There's actually three discs in the set. One for black and white graphics, one for that they say LC graphics, which I believe is the Macintosh LC's um, low resolution color video mode, and the third one for full color graphics. Well, this one, of course, we're using the black and white graphics. So let's start it up. Nice to have the sound working on this uh, classic again. Alright, so uh, let's see, we do new game. Okay, so, okay, there's a time, 60 minutes left, so what do we do? Do we, ah, there we go. Uh, oops, oh, 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 that's right, I'm going to, do you jump? Oh, yes, you can, you can jump. A little bit slow to respond, oh, a bit slow to respond. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, oh, that must have hurt. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's still go this way. That's not good. <laughs> I think I'll have to start a new game. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can uh, get through this. Um... So it's a little sluggish on a 68,000, but uh, no, it's still still playable. Ooh. <laughs> Why can't I jump up on that wall? Oh, they're going to hold down the. Uh, the left hand arrow. Now, can I jump across this? Yay! Oh. Uh, oh, hang on, if I. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love the way it changes direction. <laughs> it keeps overshooting when he wants to turn back the other way. Ooh. What does that do? Probably there. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see if I can jump over this. 
this one. Hey! Oh, it's hard to... There we go. Whoop! tile over there. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, what's that? Am I supposed to do something with that? Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thought am I supposed... I'm supposed to drink that, I think, am I? How do you... Uh, d d d whoa, whoa, going too fast. Right, um... Um, I have no idea how you're supposed to... Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oops. <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of that. Frodobun software. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, for an 8 megahertz, megahertz 68,000, it actually uh, doesn't handle it too badly. Hmm. All right, I think at this point we'll uh, we'll shut it down. So that was a demonstration of the Macintosh Classic from 1990. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.